So day one, let's have a short notch for hair. Everybody's telling me that it might be a little too short to do braids, but I think it's long enough to do braids. Right now, I'm having a mental breakdown. I'm a one trip and cut. So, hello, this is my fro, wet. I'm gonna dry it with a t-shirt. I'm gonna use a t-shirt because that's what every natural does. That's what my sisters do. So that's what I'm gonna do. My mom, I'm never gonna take hair advice from my mom because she, even when natural, she still doesn't like take care of her hair. But I just want my hair to feel the love, you know? I'm just so excited to experience the hair that is growing out of my head. <laughs> when I tell y'all my hair is thick, it's very thick. I don't really like how this, what is this, Talia Wajid, the Great Detangler, I don't like how it smells. It kind of smells like a candy that I wouldn't eat when I get it on Halloween. I'm gonna be doing the rubber band method to put my hair in little sections. I also have a Rat tail comb, this is like the rat tail comb that you would want to use for stuff like this. You don't want to use like a wide tooth comb because you're just, your parts are not going to happen the way you want them to. I have so, such little hair. Okay, we're starting at the back. This is not going to happen if I start from the front. So, I don't know how to get a perfect line in the back, but we're going to try. Number one. So this is my first braid. It doesn't look bad, but I think what I'm gonna do is add um, more hair to the next braid. Cause I want my natural hair to be like the same thickness as the braid so that it doesn't look like that. It's like, I don't know if that makes sense, but yeah. So I have around like 10 packs of hair. I don't wanna run out towards the top of my head. That's why I kinda wanted to do the top first, but. The back is like where I get my practice, if that makes sense. I did like three on this side and I did two on this side. That's what my hair's looking at like right now. <laughs> Lord, give me the strength. Give it to me. I can't. I've been trying to braid this one piece for the last four hours. Right now, I'm having a mental breakdown because I have cramps and my hair is just not getting finished. Like, I'm so close to cutting these out and just going to bed. Like, I don't want to do this anymore. Like, it's not fun. Like, I don't feel good. I don't feel hot. Like, I should be at the top section of my head almost done right now. I should be almost done right now. Not have the majority of my head not done. Like, I have training for my, my job tomorrow. And it's going to be all day. So it's not like I can just show up, pick up a shirt, and leave looking all ratchet. Like, no. Like, I have to stay there and talk to people and learn how to do whatever they're going to teach me how to do. And... <sighs> I do not have the patience to do the front of my head right now. I don't know why getting to this piece, I'm all of a sudden, like, it's just because, like, the ends keep sticking out no matter what I do. And I'm so pissed right now because all I want to do is braid my hair and go to bed. I was doing my regular braiding method, then I realized it wasn't working, so I freaking pulled out the crochet, and I crocheted it in, and I started braiding, and it still didn't go as planned. And I'm just, I'm done. I'm done with that piece of my hair. So I brushed my teeth, 
flossed period i like popped the pimple that was like starting to grow on my face i need to shave my face i'm gonna do a hair removal method video on how i dermaplane my face at home which is basically just shaving my face i know y'all see that part clean i don't know if it's straight going all the way back but we don't care about that like at this point i just want to get these braids done all right cool i like this angle better y'all I want you. I want to. I want you to show you the problem with my braids. The size difference. Like, look at this one. That's like abnormally skinny, in like a sea of these thick braids. Cause like I started to get really good at the thick braids, and I noticed that they were hiding my natural hair better. So I was like, okay, let me do these. But do y'all see like this one that I did last night? Cause I was going like out of order in my head. It looks good, but it's not the same size, nowhere, no how. And I just want the front of my head to be the same as my as the back of my head, but I don't know if that's gonna happen because I can't see the back of my head. But let me tell y'all what's actually been working for me. The She Is Bomb Collection Edge Control. Listen, I am not advertising these people at all. I bought it out of curiosity, and at first I thought it didn't work for me. I ran out of this gel, obviously, it's empty, and I have been using this gel to basically slick my little sections down and braid, and um, no more. I am using this, and the reason I'm using this is just because I was like, okay, let me try it. Let me see if it's going to slick my hair down into this braid, because the issue I'm having is, is blending the natural hair with the braiding hair, because although the braiding hair is like you know, like, kind of a uh, normal hair texture, kind of. It's not hair. So, it's not like I'm braiding my hair into my hair. Let me tell y'all how this She Is Bomb done slicked my natural hair into this braid. This one's not looking so hot right now, but I might fix that. But it looks okay. Like, to me, this looks okay. And so, just, this braid, look how nice it looks effortless all right y'all so i have finished and i even slicked my edges a little bit this braid is significantly smaller than the braid next to it but that is okay because this one clean cut section left and then i have this like back section i don't know what i'm gonna do with it if i'm gonna make it one big braid going down i think that's what i want to do but i don't want to make this one small either we're gonna try to figure something out, um, and I'll be right back when I'm done. I think I'm done. I did my own box braids. This is what they look like. Um, the size difference is really obvious, but it's okay. Think I'm bad as hell, I got his shoes out of line Saying tomorrow I do the dishes, never come